So we had a subscriber reach out to us and say, hey, I watched your how to become a police officer video and I loved it, but I wanna know more about the medical part and the medical application process when becoming a police officer. So today we're gonna to dive into that. Let's discuss. So the medical portion is pretty straightforward. There's not much that really deviates. It's a pretty standard medical assessment. Can you lift so much weight? Do you have any medical disabilities? Things like that. However, it is a key thing that we should touch on. It is something that actually affects me every time I apply to a law enforcement agency. And it's something that affects me now, now that I've switched over to training and instruction full time. But the big things to take away from your medical assessment is right off the bat, if you're feeling like your medical assessment is something you're concerned about, can I physically meet the demands of a police officer? Well, that's something you should really take a minute to, to sit back and assess. And if you think that, yes, I can meet the demands, then great. If, you're, if you have some reservations, maybe really take a second to step back and see, hey, is this something that I'm, I'm willing to do? Because your life and other people's lives may hang in the balance at some point in your career. So let's talk a little bit about that. Right off the bat, being able to have that physical capability. Now, law enforcement at times may seem like a very boring job. You sit in a car, you, you know, you write reports, but in the blink of an eye, it can completely change and be a fight for your life. Now, that's not all the time. A lot of officers go through their entire career just having very traditional style setups with arrests and maybe every now and then they get into a scuffle, but it's pretty minimal at best. But other times, and even seeing like more often, it, it may be different. You, you may actually have to fight or you may have to defend yourself or another. And having that physical conditioning and the physical capabilities to actually do that really are gonna matter. So what do I mean by this? So your physical assessment is really gonna come down to a you know typical application process is, do you have any physical disabilities you need to list them. Have you ever had any surgeries? Have you ever been involved in, in a car accident or have you ever, do you have any, any metal in your body? You know, just things like that. Very typical medical assessment with the caveat of you're going to do an eye test and you're going to do a hearing test. Now to give you a little bit of background about me specifically is I have really bad hearing. It's predominantly in my left ear. My hearing is, is almost completely shot and I barely squeak by on the police officer application for that. Now, I do meet the minimums and, and for most, most agencies or departments, you're gonna have what is a 40 decibel limit. Um, you can dive more into that, but what it really means is, is do you have like 40 decibels worth of hearing loss? And I don't wanna really dive into it because I don't wanna misspeak on it, but that's where I'm at. I hit the 40 decibel limit every time I do an audiogram. And it's always something that's always concerned me. Now, I alleviate that by my hearing in my right ear is, is a little better and I can hear pretty well in my right ear. So what I do a lot is I wear an earpiece in my left ear to block out all other noise and I just keep the earpiece in there so I can just hear radio traffic and that seems to work well for me and I don't have any worries or concerns about being able to support my fellow officers or or the community out there. So that's kind of one thing that I meant when I was saying is, do you feel confident and comfortable with any of your disabilities being a police officer? So that's me specifically with my hearing. Now everything else for that or past that point, I could manage and get by on the, on the actual test. I could, I could pass the physical assessment test and I could pass the health assessment test as well in the past. Now it's gotten to the point where I've had a few major surgeries on different parts of the body that have, have kind of really limited my physical abilities. And those physical abilities have, have made me have concern about performing the functions of say, a uniform patrol officer or even a detective, or more importantly, the officer in charge of a special weapons unit like I was doing. I had, I had some real reservations on man, am I, how am I gonna lead a special weapons unit when, 
when my my former injuries and my surgeries have, have really diminished my physical capabilities. And that was prevalent in a, in a foot pursuit that I wound up getting into with my partner at one point in time. So these are all things that really need to be considered when applying and going through your medical assessment. Now I mentioned the audiogram and I mentioned a visual test. The one thing about the visual test is you can use corrective lenses. So if you have glasses, they allow you to use that. If you have a hearing aid, you cannot use that during a during your audiogram. It's, it's unassisted, it, you have to meet the requirement. The other aspect is, are you able to, you know, some agencies say, can you lift 50 pounds or more? Um, other agencies are really kind of more predominantly focused on, can you just pass a basic physical test, which is just nothing more than your doctor's checkup, and also, can you pass the actual physical exam or the, the physical test, which is your, you know, say your push-ups, your sit-ups, your sprint, your mile and a half run, or whatever that department or agency you're looking into potentially has. So that's really, really where you're gonna dive into and look at, at the physical aspect, or I should say the health aspect of your application process. Like I said, it's pretty cut and dry, pretty, pretty simple, but you do want to consider those potential issues that may arise. Is are you willing, or I shouldn't even say willing, are you capable, are you physically capable to perform the functions of a police officer or will one of your injuries get in the way? Um, something I was always concerned about is that my shoulder would dislocate consistently. I had to have surgery on it. That's one of my major surgeries that I've had. It was a big concern of me to get into a fight with somebody and then have my shoulder dislocate and then I feel panicked or more concerned and then I have to go to a defensive tool on my duty belt and that's just not what I wanted to have to do. If I could physically subdue someone, I wanted to have that capability to do it and not have to worry about, say, a prior injury impacting the way I perform my law enforcement functions. So to keep that in mind, really kind of mull that over. Listen, if you're really trying to become a police officer and you really want to dive into it, click the link below. We have a free coaching call for you. It's our gift to you. Click on it. We will walk you through and set up a game plan right from, right from where you're at now. Maybe you're in with an agency or maybe you are wanting to know how to get started, we will set up a game plan with you to make sure that you get into the department that you're looking for. As always, stay safe and we'll see you next time.